Friends and welcome to Minecraft 1.20.4 modded, lightly modded. You know, Minecraft is where it all began for me over a decade ago. My first YouTube channel, I was doing Minecraft. My channel was awesome. It was doing good. And unfortunately, due to a misunderstanding through YouTube, I lost my channel. And that's enough about that. I don't want to be bitter. And I could be very bitter. Oh my god, could I be bitter? But after watching my friend Hawkeye M play some Minecraft again, after a few episodes, I can't help it. I've got the Minecraft Jones going. And so very super quickly, let's just touch upon the mods that I'm going to be using while I play. First of all, we've got a wonderful shader going on you can see the sun and sky look amazing we got wonderful wonderful shadows and stuff it's a very light very fast shader but let's just take a quick look at our mods so our mods are quality of life mods and mods to bring a little more content into the world we're not changing major mechanics it will be very vanilla but we have um Let's do A to Z. There we go. 3D skin layers just makes the outer layers of my Minecraft skin 3D. Axes are weapons just makes axes have the same recovery as swords. So they're a little more viable as a weapon. Bamboo everything allows us to build everything out of bamboo. Um, we have uh, a couple of fixes like the boat break fix and things like that. But we have botany pots and botany trees lets us grow lots of plants and trees in flower pots we have camps castles and carriages which gives us extra camps castles and carriages we have the carry on mod which allows us to pick up and carry certain animals and items we have dynamic lights which means if i'm holding a torch in my hand it will provide light for me this light does not stop spawns it's just for my own ability to see it's more immersive that way we got just enough items to help us with recipes. We got medieval buildings to give us some extra uh, POIs in the world. We've got um, serene seasons giving us four seasons because I like that stuff. Spiders produce webs. Spiders will occasionally leave a web behind as they do things. Towns and towers to give us some more POIs. Tree harvester hit break the bottom block on a tree and the whole tree comes down. And a mini map and world map. So as you can see. Nothing particularly fancy, and um, under options, I am just going to show you guys that the shader I am using is Makeup Ultra Fast 8.9D, and man, is it great performance. Let's play some Minecraft. I have apparently appeared in a sunflower biome, of all things. We've got a little tent up there. That is actually an illager tent. We don't want to go anywhere near that. Let's get a look at the map here. We do have a lake maybe going into a river. We'll go over and check that out. There's a river on that side. We got plenty of cows around, which is good because if we can get a few materials, we can make a backpack. That is one of the mods that I added in is a little backpack mod. But let's go ahead and pick up our torches. It's weird, you know, I'm so used to playing Vintage Story. And Vintage Story has so much grass and, and plants and stuff that it looks so barren here in Minecraft. All right, well, let's grab the food. That's always good. There is an axe. Got some sticks. Not a bad thing. It's nice just to not have to instantly punch a tree, you know? Be able to pick up a few odds and ends and get on our way. So, I want to check out the water feature we have over here. 
All right, so we've got sheep out here. Checking to see if there's any exposed iron down there. All right, sheepies. Nothing personal. But I need your tasty wool. What color was he? He was white. There we go. Now I can make a bed. Not sure what was up with that. I haven't played Minecraft since uh, quite some time before uh, the 120 update. I think the last time I played current Minecraft, when it was current, was uh, 114. You know, that water looks mighty good. The shader is so nice. Okay, we do have something else out there in the distance. Looks like we actually have a village down here. We may go check that out. But right now what I need is I need to take advantage of all these animals that are out here. I need to get some feathers and leathers. Feathers and leathers for the wind. Okay, I see cows off in this direction. Else is a creeper over there. I don't want to get too close to the uh, illagers. There will be one with a crossbow and one with an axe at the very least. And they will wreck me in my current state. Alright cows. Now please understand I hold you in the highest regard. No. No. But no. I need to chop you. Excuse me? Oh, he, he must be underground. Okay, that's... Three leather, three leather, another cow that way. Yeah, he must be right under the ground there, like right under the ground. I need five leather, some sticks, and a single string to build the backpack. And it gives us an extra 27 stacks. If you give me one leather... I don't have to kill any more of your brethren. There we go. So I have um, enough. Excuse me. Pardon me. All right. Oh, and I do have a little mod that uh, allows us to cook rotten flesh into into leather. But. Um, all right, so we're going to need one string, which is probably going to be a little bit hard to come by, but we do have the leather we need now. Let's look at the map. Um, and there are a bunch of chickens right over there. I think we will, in the name of progress, go over and kill some chickens. <laughs> Starting on this plane has definitely made a lot of things a whole lot easier. No doubt about that. Hello, little chicken. Sorry, brah. I just need a few feathers. And as I told the cows, give me what I need and I shall not have to slay any more of your brethren. That's a start. Got some horses over there. And, oh, so up here we have another gate. Kind of like this here. It's a flower forest on a river. Looks like this river might actually swing around. 
Well, let's uh, see about heading up to that nether gate because it should, it should, it should have a chest. Ambush. I should, that should be enough feathers to ensure I can get some arrows going when the time comes. Don't really have a, a reason to be whacking too many chickens here. Little river valley kind of thing going on. Not far to go here. Oh, it's a ways yet. It is a ways yet. So, I'm playing with large biomes. I find it a bit more realistic, a little more immersive. Really? In my way. There we go. Yeah, so um, usually I use Journey Map, but this time around I use a different mapping utility, and uh, it appears to its mini map appears to actually show a lot farther territory. Basically, yeah, there's a chest right there. I, you know, I can be happy with that. I can be happy with that. Fire protection, four. And knock back two on that sword. I am not going to complain. And fire charge. And a little bit of obsidian. We'll take it. don't need and let's take a single piece of netherrack so we can make a permanent fire let's get a look at the map see what we have revealed there's more flower forest and it looks like there may be a ship right there a wrecked ship tell you what let's let's just head right on over there and this looks like big water, so we could potentially, we could potentially, and make some weird noises, um, have a place I could hole up for the night. And yes, I am going the right way, okay. Gonna be a ways over here. Uh, sheepies, don't mind me. Just past that line of trees, apparently. I see it. What I'd really like to find is a place that's got all the coral and tropical fish and stuff. Okay. Need to get to work on some things really fast. Put that down. Make a bed and sleep. 
Very important. There we go. Because right now, I don't want to have to deal with a bunch of knuckleheads. We should be able to get down in here. There should be one or two chests buried somewhere in all of this. quite know what's going to be in there so let's go ahead and uh, well actually we got plenty of sticks I want to do is I want to make a second axe because my axe is almost kaput and I want to make a shovel just to speed up this process here Let's see if we can track down the chest inside. be the doorway and now I'll be able to tell where that dropped from too fancy well actually there's some bamboo I can get some bamboo going that's seems to be a trend in my gameplay lately that I'm getting bamboo this we can convert into leather so we just totally and completely got our leather situation sorted out and where are we relative to the ship so there's probably another chest back here. There we go. Ah, oh, you know what? I will take that. That's iron. We can combine those to make some ingots, and there's emeralds. All right. I don't think there'd be another one in here, but I'm going to check. We did not come out of that bad at all. Did not come out of that bad at all. So we'll take these, and I believe we have to fill in the entire grid, and that will create ingots. So there's two ingots for us. Very nice. I can make myself a shield, which makes a huge difference. Um, and... With that, 
really don't need sunflowers. Okay, let's uh, get a look at the map. See what we've got here. Okay, so there will be another chest there. Wouldn't it be cool if we got more armor out of that? Um, this is kind of a nice little area here. Maybe the thing to do is to uh, make a boat and just kind of travel along here because I got a feeling we're going to find some very idyllic spot because with the fact that we've got flower forest, it means there's going to be quite a bit of flower forest and plains along here, sunflower plains. Um, and we could find just the spot. Let's see. So I'm going to get rid of that axe because it's about done and we want to have room for our bed. I just lost my spawn point by picking up the bed, but that's okay. Let's go this way. We'll check out um, this nether portal. And we hope maybe get a helmet or some leggings in gold. Because I'm perfectly happy to wear gold armor. It doesn't last very long, but if it's got good enchantments on it, it could make the difference for us initially. Can I definitely make myself a shield. Yeah, get out of here. Got some coal down there. I like the flower forest. I like the tulips. Okay, so to the right. I like how this particular mini-map, it gives us our little arrow, and when we open the big map, it actually gives us a trail, a short amount of trail showing precisely, you know, where we traveled. There it is. And there is a chest there. So that is something that seems to be consistent. Watch out for these hot spots. Oh, and it's uh, weeping. Weeping obsidian. What you got for me? For real? Golden carrots. Wow. Okay. Well, there's a fire charge. Um. Oh, what's going to go here? Swap out the acacia plank because flint and steel is useful. Swap out the trap door. That's a golden hoe with fortune one and a golden hoe with efficiency five. Okay. <laughs> uh, we can always get wheat seeds. That's going to give us a couple more ingots, we hope. And a golden hoe with fortune one, why not? Kind of wacky, but I guess that's kind of the point of this whole setup here is it's kind of wacky. I don't need the gunpowder. We'll take the gold nuggets. Okay. So. Golden carrots. Which must be something that's some basic variation of golden apples. Okay. Yeah, we seem to have big water here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think... Of course, we need to sleep soon at 1656. Hello, horses. 
think I'm gonna head to the coast. And we'll put the bed down. And that guy, and we'll see how we do here. Nice. Here, I think we'll get just one gold ingot. Yep. We need some stone. Uh, if we can come up with a one lone piece of string. We can build our backpack. Don't think we have any recipes that make string. We can show its uses, but there's no recipe for it, so. There's a wool to string recipe mod that you'll encounter sometimes. All right. We should have sufficient raw materials right there to make a boat. Let's pick up our bed. Let's put our boat in the water and let let us see what we've got out here. Go along the shore this way a little bit. Oh, we got a shipwreck. Right off the bat. That makes me a happy camper. Now, the uh, POI mods that I've got installed are supposed to add at least one new boat model out there. So we may encounter that. Wow, you're like floating McFloaterston here. Right on the surface. Nice. Nice, nice. If there's loot to be had, we should be able to get to it relatively quickly. There's a chest right there. What do we got? There's some boots with Thorn 3 on them. Grab those immediately. We're just going to stack these things to help us figure out what we've got going here. Moss blocks, huh? Hmm. Kind of a odd collection of things here. All right, well, I'm going to skip the suspicious stew. We are going to grab those because we can convert those to leather. And sometimes villagers want those. Smithing template. Ingredients. Ingots and crystals. Is this from a mod? Or is this from the game? I gotta honestly say that I am unfamiliar with that. Well, we'll take the carrots for planting. We'll get rid of that one little piece of wood there. We will put on these boots. Not only for the protection, but also to get us a little bit of room. Moss blocks. We can make a really nice floor with moss blocks, I would assume. But I need to make a choice here. Need to leave a space for our boat. You know, actually, I'm just gonna gonna hold up since it was nice and easy. 
to get to that. It's the one on the other side that we're going to want to get a look at because there should be another one over here. And let's see what's in here. Oh, see, yeah. Yeah, I need the room. Sorry, but too much goodies here to just fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go should be able to make more ingots from that and lapis. Let's get rid of that and let's grab this lapis. Okay. Beautiful. Mm, you like sweet music. Sweet, sweet music. You like sweet music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. This is actually kind of a cool little spot. Other than the absolute absence of trees in the neighborhood. Which would make things a little complicated. We're just, we're going to follow the shoreline for a little while. We're going to see if we can find our ideal spot. Um, and if not, you know, this is not too shabby right here. We've got access underground. We've got a nice little green space with lots of trees. little point that comes out to access the ocean. A uh, nether portal that we can rebuild. Is that another shipwreck right there? I think we got another shipwreck right, right down the coast. All right. But like I say, there's there's a very small part of me that would almost build there. Just get, you know, use use the ship as as my house. All right. How buried is this one? Because these shipwrecks are proving very lucrative for us. That's for sure. Yeah, the back of this one is busted wide open, so we're not gonna not gonna find a chest from that. But we could find a chest in the front of it. Oh, hey, right there. Let me in. Let me in. Um, I will take the bamboo. Yes, indeed. I'll grow bamboo all day long. We'll take the rotten flesh. Be nice to have pumpkins, but right now, not my biggest concern. We can find pumpkins. All right. So, I guess this technically was the back. Well, no, actually, that was the front. So, there we go. That was everything to pull out of there, I'm pretty sure. I was hoping we find a treasure map. Treasure. All right. Looks like... Yeah, that is an Illager tent. We know that because it's made out of light-colored wool. If we see light-colored wool, it's Illagers. If we see blue and white wool, it's uh, Traveling Merchants. See, now this is... Nice little patch of forest here. And again, we're just going to take a look at the map, see what we see. Oh, there's there's another one. Hmm. They've proven themselves worth looting. They have, they have. Okay, so this is just normal forest. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to turn around and we're going to take that river... If that river to the lake had forest on the other end of the lake, I would be all about it. I would pick it as an excellent place to build. A toidal. A toidal. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's 
ways back yet. Ooh, oh, hey now. Toiddles. Yeah, you know, in um, Alpha 14, I got a Minecraft realm and we ended up on this beach just surrounded by coral and all the new tropical fish and all of that. I absolutely loved it so much. I collected all kinds of fish, built the hanging gardens of Babylon. I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a great build. And I've often considered about reestablishing that. Is that a castle in the distance? Or is that an illager location? Oh, it's it's a village. A village on a lake. Oh, there's actually a river that continues on past it, too. Okay. Before we come back to check this and get its loot... Let's let's go up this river just a little ways. You know this area is not bad. Having some villagers around. Having a portal we can rebuild. See how far this goes. Just get a ways up so we can check the map. We don't have to actually travel it. There's bees. So it looks like this river actually continues on and connects into bigger stuff. You know, tell you what, let's uh, turn around, let's go back and make our way to that village. Because it is getting late. The sun's going to go down soon. It's a good place to set a spawn point where we don't have to leave our bed behind and it'll be the permanent spawn point. I like this area. I like the river. And just in general, it's a little shy on trees, which can complicate things. And it's a little shy on trees, which can complicate things, but... That is a traveling trader's tent. Yep, there's his llamas. So he's going to have a chest in here, and you never know what's going to be in it. Except for one thing. Emeralds! Sometimes there will be a spyglass, which is awesome. But there is a lead. There is a lead in here, so something's got to go. What's going to go? That one lone piece of gold. We'll leave, him, we'll leave him a nice nugget of gold for having taken a few bits and bobs. And he's already in there. Whoa, okay. That could have gotten complicated. A smithy, huh? All right. Let's check that. Hello, my friend. There is more obsidian and other goodies, but more importantly, that... We'll leave him some bread and some fire charges. And as lovely as that is, I am going to give leave him his fire protection for, well, should I? Uh, I 
well, yes, yes. Let's let's make sure that if we're if we're stealing, we're leaving the exchange. You know, I mean, let's let's do that. I'm gonna put the bed down here, and we're gonna sleep through the night. And then in the morning, what we'll do is we'll just set a spawn point um, on one of the other beds in the village. But I'm sure some of you think I'm absolutely bonkers for having... Um, oh, yeah, I'd have, I'd have had a little bit of a panic there, too. If I was running around in my underwear. Alright, so what we're going to do... I'm going to stick those in there. And... Drop the oak in to get that processing. Huh. And we're going to get a look around the village here. See if there's any loot to be had. And like I say, set our spawn point um, on a villager bed. Like that one. There we go. Our spawn point is set. So now we can go adventuring up that river. Oh, wow. Like multi-level establishment. If I was going to stay in the village, I'd probably take that one over. But I'm not going to stay in the village. Not my style. All I end up doing usually is getting all the villagers killed. Hey there, what do you got? Huh? Oh. I could have traded him a bunch of rotten flesh. Four emeralds. That's right. I am royal tax official. Royal tax official. I'm, I'm just collecting taxes. Don't mind me. You can tell because of my golden sword that I'm a person of authority. I may have to cite you for building violations here. Yeah, that is kind of a <laughs> crazy situation there. Oh, they do have a cat in the, in, in the village. So, not looking like we've got much else in the way of, of loot here in the village, but that's okay. Because my primary concern was not looting them. And it was having a place to sleep that was safe. And the next question is, where did the trader get himself to? There he is. He's off over there. Um, he will often have a bucket of tropical fish for sale. You know what, bud? I will happily take one of your... Fine iron axes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much, sir. I can tell you have high quality wares. That is my weapon of choice right there. And. We just plain have a shortage of coal, so I think I saw some coal down in this underneath here. But right now, I'm less concerned about converting that than I am getting back down to the river. I don't think there's anything in particular in the church. 
I want to get back down to the river and I want to follow that river. Yeah, there's a potion stand in here. And it's nice they've got glass. Yeah. All right. Back down to the boat. And up the river. Lewis and Clark this business. Apparently bumped into a fish or something. Just want to go a ways. See what the river does. So, again, we've got, like, this total lack of trees, but the lake with, with the little island in the center is kind of neat. There's a illager hut. We're going to follow this up so we can hit this up here. Looks like it might go up and arc around into the forest here. As long as I've got a, a, a clean route that will take me all the way to the ocean... I would be fairly happy. I like this. And the water in this in this uh, shader pack really looks good. Looks like water. It's clear. You can see down, but not too far. Got some pumpkins up there. That, my friends, is an entire block of gold. And we don't have an appropriate pick to harvest it, but we certainly could soon. And golden helmet with thorns. I'm going to take it. Flint. Ooh, there we go. Bunch of that more iron and a golden sword with smite I would take smite over knockback any day of the week um yeah it's definitely time to make some room you can go I'm gonna take that I'm going to leave the gold. We've got three gold ingots. That's enough for the moment. It's looking like enough obsidian to rebuild a portal. Get rid of that and take the gold. <coughs> So, yeah, we've got both boots and a helmet with thorns on it. Well, the river does not go where I thought it did, though, unfortunately. I wonder if it circles around. This is why I love following rivers, because, you know, they take you to new and interesting places. Um, and it's just regular forests. All right. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Don't think we can get through. I think the passage is blocked. We'd have the portage, and I don't think I have an open slot for my boat. Might be able to 
do a dig. Villagers over there, I think. Yeah. It's all planes. It's all planes. Um, it's getting kind of dark. Well, not dark, but late, which is the same thing. Let's put the bed down. crafting table down. First things first, let's convert these. Heck yeah. We're pushing up on a full set of iron armor here. And 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 Definitely need to eat something. In we go. Oh, I kind of hate doing that just because when I pick the bed back up, and it's going to reset our spawn point back to our original spawn point where we first came into the game. Got my exploration Jones on now, so I want to see where this river goes in the end. I was hoping maybe it, you know, came around and went to the woods over there, because then I'd have probably set up right there, as long as, like I say, I can get back out to the ocean easily. So I may come back and take the river up into the flower forest here and build there. I'm not sure yet. What I really like is a mega tiger. Mega tiger, mega tiger, mega tiger. Woo woo. Love me a mega tiger. Reminds me of where I grew up in Michigan, in the Upper Peninsula. We're just gonna follow it along a bit and then check the map and just keep doing it that way. Yeah, I don't see that this is going to, at any point, likely connect into the river going up here. So before I get too carried away and too far away, I'm just going to turn around. I'm going to go back. We're going to go back past that village and uh, check the... Um, Nether portal that's over there. But yeah, I cannot believe how well this shader pack is running on my machine. Usually, even with the shader packs that are supposedly, you know, um, low impact, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I It's still really takes a chunk out of my uh, frame rate and I'm I'm running a solid steady consistent 60 FPS now granted I'm not running a whole lot of mods and that helps a lot but I've got everything pretty much on fancy you know on ultra I am running with optifine and that helps 
but ultimately if you're gonna do some minecraft and you want to try some shaders hop to find what's the shader that i'm using which i couldn't tell you the name of off the top of my head but i can certainly make sure that it is in the description I want to look at that little island in the center of the lake. I believe it's right out here. Right? Yep, it's just a nice flat little patch of land. That is a traveling trader. There's certainly plenty of room. It's just we've got an absolute lack of trees. I mean, not a not a bad view, certainly. With <clears throat> easy access to a village and the sea so this is one distinct possibility for a place to build um this is another distinct possibility for a place to build i kind of like that we've got a river that goes up don't know how far it goes but it actually looks like this may loop it may be a loop of river we could claim everything inside the loop as our kingdom Hmm, it's a thought. Not quite ready to build yet, and, and I hope you guys will be patient with me, but when it comes to Minecraft, um, I just, I gotta have the spot, you know? I gotta have the spot. Let's go over and see what this trader's got. He might he might have a spyglass. And if he had a spyglass, that would make me mighty happy. Didn't realize we had a spot like that. Don't mind me, I'm just going to rummage your chest. Ow. He's like, I smell something cooking. <laughs> Alright. Um, is that empty maps? That's empty maps. Alright. I'm going to take his empty maps. And I'm going to give him gold in exchange. Like I say, it's kind of... It, part of it is for my own sense of immersion and part of it is because I'm a relatively honest human being in real life and, you know, I'm I'm stealing. There's no two ways about it. No way to sugarcoat it. I'm stealing from the man, so. Huh? Pardon me, sir. Yeah, I see tropical fish in a bucket. And I'm actually going to buy one. For two reasons. Number one, it gives me tropical fish. And number two, uh -huh. it gives, gives me a bucket. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, you should go look in your chest. You will huh? find something nice in there. But I think that's a great way for Minecraft to make sure that everybody has access to the tropical fish. And I will certainly avail myself of it. All right. I need you to go this way. This way, this way. Oh, there's a big old squatch cave up in that hill. Make 
small part says, wow, we could go up there and build a castle up on top of it and have the Squatch Cave underneath it, but I'm not really feeling it. Let's head back. We're going to check the um, nether portal that we spotted out in the field, and I do want to just go back to the ocean and take it a little further. I would be much happier if I could find myself... Oh, it's just a... Just a hole through it. It's not actually a cave. Gotcha. I would be pretty happy if we could find Mega Taiga. You know, we got 1433. You know what? Let's park over here by this tree because it's a nice landmark. And we're going to go make sure we set ourselves a spawn point in the village again. Just to keep us close to where we actually are. But, yeah, I've got to I've gotta settle for someplace soon because, you know, I've... Uh, I've been playing for, oh, I guess an hour. And... Well, hello, sir. What you got? Ah, stone tools. Never mind. How about you? Oh, you're the fellow I bought the axe from. Set my spawn there. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that there's just so few trees in this area and we'd have to go through a lot of rigmarole to get materials. You don't get to get in my boat there, Sheepy. Um, I would I would settle in this area just just cause. But first of all, I've got an exploration, Jones. I like to know what's around the next bend in the river. Secondly, would like to find a mega taiga or a piece of land that has, you know, the tropical coral, tropical fish stuff, you know, right offshore. And lastly, I'm just having a heck of a lot of fun looking at these beautiful vistas and... Alright, let's get a look here. So, like I said, this this is not bad here at all. We've got a nice little patch of flower forest. There's the river that goes up and I think goes around the bend and connects here, creates an entire loop. We got the little island in the center of the lake here, which is not a bad spot. Um, I think I'm actually going to cut across Caddy Corner and see what we've got down here. Just out away from shore, enough distance that I don't have to worry about skellies and that kind of stuff when the sun goes down. Actually, do we have a little little patch of land right out here? Yep, perfect. Well, hop out and put the bed down. And I'll just spend the night right here. Oh, my kingdom for a piece of string. Jeez. Make that backpack. And... 
Pick that up. Hop in here and away we go. I love exploring. If I'd have been born a century or two earlier, I can guarantee you I'd have been a mountain man. I am what is known in today's parlance as a Sigma male. I prefer to spend my time alone. I really don't like to deal with people. I tend to keep my own counsel. And when it's time to take action... I'm immediate, I am direct, and I'm a little sneaky. Do I see barrels? Flotsam and jetsam? I do, I do. Let's see if there's anything good. And a little bread. Okay, time to make some room. Time to make some room. There's the leggings we've been waiting for. A lamb. And diamonds. Hell yeah. All right, let's get a look at the map. I think there may have been another one, but I don't think there was any stuff on it. What am I seeing there? Uh, I think there might have been another bit of flotsam out over there. Well, we'll go over and we'll check it out. There might be something on it. Or maybe that's just a little piece of land. Yeah, that's just a little piece of land, okay. Oh, hey, guess what? That is the boat I was talking about. And I can already see barrels. But it, okay, that shows very clearly on the map. I'm not going to go after that right now. But, because, I mean, our, our inventory is so full. But, yeah, there's lanterns. There's absolutely tons of wool. Yeah, that's going to be worth looting. And I know we're going to be staying in the general area. I'm not planning on traveling off a million miles away. Of course, there will also be a number of those scattered around in any big water we find. So we might find another one. But I'm super curious what's inside it. I just right now I want to stay on task. Right now I want to stay on task. And that task is getting some sense of what's going on here in the world. The fact that I used large biomes means that uh, we're going to have a lot of the same kind of territory. We're going to see a lot of planes right now of various sorts. Yeah, see it's a lot of the, a lot of the same stuff. I'm just not seeing that warm tropical ocean, though. Which is what I'd really like to see. With all the tropical fish. We're going to go into this river mouth just, just far enough to expand our map a tiny bit. 
just to see what's going on in there. All right. Looks like we've got a village up over here. There's some sort of little something there. I'm not sure what. Got another village up over there. Yeah, this is all looking pretty similar. Looks like we might have a sunken ship right there. All right. Going to take it just a little bit farther. Is that a traveling merchant taking a swim? Taking a bath there, mate? I was kind of hoping that this was like a small inland sea, but it's looking like it's expanding. Kind of its own little separate island there. That's not bad if it just had some dang trees. Yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking that this here is so far looking like the best spot. We got access to multiple villages and river and all of that. I'm going to take the time to, to look. I'm going to take the time to explore. The rain has knocked down my FPS a little bit. Not enough to be getting any major lag spikes or anything, but... Another illager camp. Okay, we're starting to see some trees. Come forward just a little bit and see what we got here. This is a nice little bay. Nice little bay with some forest. Not bad. I want my tropical waters. I want my mega tiger. Hello, Toidle. You almost crashed into me there, dude. There's leftovers of a ship there. Make sure we pass close enough to it to uh, get a look. Yeah, I think I think we should have easy access to a chest here. That's what I was hoping for. Who needs the mine? We don't have room for the gold this time around because of the diamonds we found. What time is it? 1457. This might actually be a good place to spend the night. Oh, there's a treasure map. 
few feathers. Must be like the equivalent of a writing desk or something. Swap it out for the apples. And we'll get a look at it and see if it's anywhere close by. We are actually, yeah, not far from it, theoretically. But yeah, I think I think I'll put my bed down here for the night. It won't be too much longer and the sun will go down. Not a bad little room. It's a little far out to see to set up shop here. A little far out to see. See, now we're, we're getting actually a cave view because we're under a layer and it looks like there's a whole series of abandoned mine shafts out over there. But we'll see if we can, uh, if we can find that ship. So, you know, there's apparently... A whole nother ship there. I think that one was sunken, though. I suppose I don't have to sleep in the rain. Well, I'm just going to wait out the sunset and I will see you guys in the morning.